Hello. Um, today, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about something, you know, just about an actor, on, uh, really. Um, not going to give a whole rundown uh, of a biography or anything, but, you know, um, uh, seeing as this past Saturday was St. Patrick's Day, I kind of thought, you know, you know, I don't really, I can't think of any um, St. Patrick's Day film right offhand. Um, well, I could have talked about the uh, Boondock Saints, um, honestly, now that I think about it, but that's fine. Maybe, maybe some other time, maybe next year around St. Patrick's Day. But I just kind of wanted to talk about Peter O'Toole. Now, uh... I have mentioned Peter O'Toole before, mostly in the Oscar videos, since, uh, you know, he was very much overlooked, and as you can see here, I have four films starred him, Lawrence of Arabia, Lion in Winter, My Favorite Year, and Venus. All four of those films were, were movies that he got nominated for Academy Awards for. I even have Lawrence Arabia on Blu-ray. And, uh, you know, this film uh, is very inspirational for many people. Um, you know, just the way it was made, the uh, just how everything, you know, about this film came together. I really enjoy this set. Um, I got the exclusive uh, <clears throat> four four disc set. Um, three discs are uh, uh, Blu-ray. Uh, it came in a big box. Uh, came with like a little like a film strip of the movie, the frame. Um, came with a big book. It's very good. Um, and, you know, uh, you can get this on Blu-ray. Um, but you get the first two discs, which is just the a new 4K restoration of the film, Secrets of Arabia, which is a picture and graphics track, and special features. And the uh, third disc is an exclusive thing with uh, a lot of cool stuff. And the fourth disc is, a, is the soundtrack. Now this is about Lawrence. This video is not about Lawrence of Arabia, obviously, but you know this is probably the film he's best known for. Um, it's the film that really launched him into where he became. You know he was a fantastic actor. He inspired you know uh, many actors, Gary Oldman included. And I think it's another reason why I think it's kind of appropriate in this time. I've been talking about Gary Oldman a lot. You know, if you want an Oscar, and I think he's like the greatest actor of all time. He's the best actor, in my opinion. Um, but Peter O'Toole, I rank very highly as well. Um, he, Christian Bale, Ewan McGregor. Uh, interestingly enough, you know, my top actors are very, uh, you know, they're very much English or uh, Irish, or Scottish. Uh, though it's been a debate of where he himself was born, but he always found he always. Uh, essentially fancied himself to be an Irishman. Uh, even if he was born in uh, England, uh, he was uh, very much, you know, he, di he did live in England, he did spend time there. Uh, I recall very much as a adult, or, or growing up at least, you know, and an adult as well. He lived there for a while. Um, he made movies there, he did stage there. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah, he. Uh, I have two other films of his uh, up there. Beckett and um, the Ruling Class. Yes. Um, and he, in Peter O'Toole, he was yeah, quite the actor. You know, if you've never seen a film by him, you know, Lawrence of Arabia. I would recommend watching. Just, to, just you know. Just as a movie itself, it's just great. Um, 
and he's phenomenal in it. You know, I actually think uh, his performance as T.E. Lawrence in that in Lawrence of Arabia is the best performance I have ever seen on film. And that's saying something. You know, I've seen many movies. I'm sure you have too. And what the best actor, best performance, you know, uh, that's very subjective. So me saying this does not mean you, if you watch my channel, you enjoy the content or enjoy what I'm saying. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, I just really enjoy watching, I just enjoyed his performance because when I read up on The Real Dude, you know, T. Lawrence, he, he, he very well captured what I've read. He captured this mis mystery about him. You know, people knew T. E. Lawrence, and yet at the same time they didn't know. They knew him, and yet at the same time they didn't. He's kind of, he was kind of an enigma. And the film really captures that, uh, and particularly O'Toole, he really does make you believe. Like, you know, we were with him for like three and a half hours. And you know we know him through this period of time, you know, World War One, and yet at the same time, at the end of it, it kind of feels like we kind of don't. There's a lot to him. He's a, he was a very complex dude, guy, and uh, you know there's historical stuff, you know, inaccuracies and whatnot. But uh, whatever inaccuracies there are, uh, I will say, the film is just entertaining. It's a very good film. It's a very masterful film. It's epic in every sense of the word. The performance O'Toole gave was um, just It's just so, you know, I said phenomenal. But you could say words don't do justice to him or to that performance. And Peter O'Toole was, you know, he was actually just quite the character. You know, he could play larger than life characters like in the Lawrence of Arabia or My Favorite Year, which is, which is actually my second favorite film and performance by him. Uh, it's just an entertaining film, it's a, and a, it's a hilarious film. And, uh, you know, he didn't win the Oscar, but Ben Kingsley for this uh, movie you know, for that year, uh, he won the Oscar that year. Ben Kingsley did for Gandhi, and, um, while I enjoy O'Toole, I just think he's amazing in all he did, you know, even if he was in bad movies, he's one of those actors that have was like, you know, this movie sucks, or it's bad, but Peter O'Toole is good, you know, he was one of those actors, there's just some actors and actresses that are just like that, and I've said that many times, on this channel and other videos, but I find it's true, you know, there's so many actors, so many actresses, you know, they give it their all, and they're just, you know, and they're good, you know, perhaps some films, you know, you might not ever rank in a top ten or five list of their best performances, but they're good, uh, Peter O'Toole was like that as well, um, you could say for like the movie, um, Venus, if you learn about Peter O'Toole you can, and the kind of lifestyle he had, when you hear about his, the character's past, and then you kind of see him, it's fairly similar, um, it's a very, it's fairly similar, uh, you know, uh, kind of character he played. So you could say, maybe, you could, or make an argument that he was playing himself, which, you know, I don't, I don't see playing yourself or a version of yourself in a way as entirely hard. Um, I know some will always make the case like you have to remember lines and you have to do this and that. You, you get your craft down for your character. And yeah, I'm not saying it's really easy, but you know, when people try to get into the character. You know, not necessarily going all method and all that, but, you know, when trying to, uh, if you don't, maybe not research, but if you, when you're trying to nail down the character, you're trying to, you know, get the essence of whoever it is you're, play, you're playing, 
know if it's essentially kind of yourself, you don't really try, you know, you don't really have to entirely, I guess, like, uh, uh, look very far in a way, you know, because a realization, I'm sure, you know, it kind of sounds like, oh, this sounds like familiar, it's sort of like what I kind of gone through in life, or whatever. So you can draw from inspirations from that, uh, as opposed to concocting a character that isn't like yourself, and you're trying to make it your own. Um, I, I don't find those kind of characters that some actors play, or it seems like a version of themselves very, it doesn't sound like very hard uh, to play. If I had played it, I was if I was in a movie and I was playing a character that was like myself, it wouldn't be all that difficult to play. I don't believe. I mean, yeah, you have to remember lines, you have to do certain things, like uh, characteristics and such. But overall, when you, I guess when you try and look at the character in its core, it might not, you know, uh, be very. Hard, the process might not be as interesting, um, at least to me. You know, I could be wrong, but he gave a good performance. He, he, you know, he, that was the last. Venus was the last time he got nominated for an Oscar. Um, he didn't win. Um, and Beckett in uh, uh, the Lion in Winter, he played King Henry the Second, and uh, he was nominated for Oscars both times. Deserved nominations, I think, for Lion Winter, he should have won. I obviously think he should have won for, uh, you know, Florence of Arabia. Uh, he just was that phenomenal in the movie. Uh, Gregory Peck won for To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, but I think part of the reason he won was because he didn't have an Oscar at that time. Uh, and because of that, they kind of want to rectify with Peck, like, you should have gotten an Oscar before now for any of the movies you were nominated for, maybe you should have gotten one for a film you wasn't nominated for, so here you go, that could, I think that had a good hand in that, um, and also Peter O'Toole, was a, that was his debut, uh, essentially, uh, at least in the U.S., I know he did some films before Lawrence of Arabia, but, you know, but nothing to that end. Nothing like this. Um, he just played like small parts, small roles. And uh, Orange of Arabia was the film that launched him to where he uh, became, and he was such a great actor. Seemed like a, quite the character just in life. You know, I know I keep saying that, but you know, he, he was. He seemed to be fairly larger than life. He drank a lot. Um, he, Richard Harris, uh, Peter Finch, I want to say Richard Burton as well, I believe he, I believe he was in a, a group with them, they would all drink and just cause havoc essentially and just, they would just have fun and they would, you know, people today couldn't really probably do that. Um, even if they want to live up to a legend like Peter O'Toole, you know, I mean, he is a legend. Essentially, like, you know, Lawrence of Arabia just essentially cemented him legendary status uh, early on. Might not, that effect might not have, or that thought might not have processed to people. But looking back, I feel like that film really set him uh, into legendary status, or at least on the road to that status, and, uh, you know, he, he was one of a kind, uh, all the actors I really love and like watching, you know, they're all one of a kind, um, there's no one quite like them, can't really replicate them, um, I couldn't, you know, be a lead in a movie, I couldn't try and replicate what Piero Duel Tool did in Once of Arabia, or My Favorite Year, or Lion in Winter, or whatever, I couldn't do that. You know? He was one of those actors that's just, uh, just so unique. They were so 
one of a kind, and um, yeah, he really had such a presence on screen, you felt it. There was just something, you know, he was trying to communicate to this audience when he acted, and it's like you felt it. Whatever emotion he was given, you felt it. You were to love him, to hate him, to have you feel sad for him, or happy, or any emotion. He, he was somebody that was just able to really make you feel it. And um, you know, People like Gary Oldman cite him as an influence. And, uh, rightfully so. Um, just as many people uh, see Gary Oldman as an influence. Rightfully so. Um, I think uh, people like Pierre O'Toole, you know, they deserve the recognition they have, but I kind of feel they, that he deserves more. Just a bit. Um, and not just for the Oscar thing, you know, though he does deserve at least one, he did deserve one Oscar. Um, because his honorary Oscar doesn't really count. In that he wasn't against anybody, they didn't nominate him for anything. Or against anybody, I should say. He didn't really have to beat anyone. Uh, you know, he wasn't the winner. But he did get an honorary Oscar. He did get to have a speech. So there is that. Um, at least he did get to uh, stand on stage and uh, give a speech to the people. It is thanks. Richard Burton did not, unfortunately. He got seven nominations. He didn't even get an honorary Oscar after he passed away. And I think that's a shame. But, you know, perhaps I might do more of these uh, kind of just little tributes to actors and people that whose films and careers I enjoy. Uh, this Again, this wasn't really a rundown of a biography or anything, just my thoughts on how I just admire this dude and how great he was. And I apologize for the little reading off of this, but I was essentially reading this because, you know, Peter O'Toole, he is in some of these features, and he has some, and there's some of the stuff he just tells is just so... Just amazing stuff that went into the making of this film and his perspective was really you know, I just I can just rewatch this over and over and um, yeah you know this film really inspired so many filmmakers as well as actors you know, some of the greats we consider nowadays uh, probably uh we're fans of him. We're fans of his work, and I'm sure this was a very good inspiration for them. Uh, his performance for up-and-coming actors, that I feel they probably wouldn't want to capture that, or just a tiny fraction of it, just so they could be, I don't know, at least that closer to being as good as him. Uh, perhaps it might not be legendary status, uh, but some are just underrated. I feel he, in many ways, while he is a legend, he is underrated in other regards. Um, you know, uh, he's not as talked about with actors as much nowadays, it seems. Um, unless people really start to think back to the passing of films of old, and just films that are classics and just, you know, then, you know, Lawrence of Arabia comes up in all Piro Tool and then they might get into some of his other films he did. Um, hopefully he, he will get more recognition as the years go on. Um, he did get a good enough, a decent amount of recognition as he, uh, while he was alive, but I don't know, I just feel he should have had a bit more. He deserved a bit more. Perhaps people, perhaps he did get more, but I don't know. Uh, I, 
I guess from what I've read and heard people talk, uh, it doesn't exactly look like it, but I could be wrong. And in this case, I hope to be wrong. Because he is a fantastic actor. But some great actors are overlooked in more ways than one. Um, Peter O'Toole, he was a legend. He will always live on. Uh, not just from his children, not through his children, but, you know, he will live on through the films. Lawrence of Arabia is a film that will really be at least the one film he will always be remembered by. And hopefully people who watch that and see him and just see him on screen want to watch more of, uh, of the films he was in. Because they're worth it. You know? I remember watching like a... There's like a marathon or something like a TCM or uh, some movie channel years ago. It's about like 13 and just watching Lawrence of Arabia and all these other films. It was like, they had like a month of him. Like it was like a Pierre O'Toole month or something of a sort. And there was just a bunch of movies of him and I remember watching them and I was just in awe of the greatness this actor had on screen. And I'm like, you know, that, that guy, you know, I'm like, he, his talent is just So it was unlike no other, and um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, I really love the work of Peter O'Toole. I think he's fantastic. He's phenomenal, and um, yeah, that's all I'll say. Because otherwise, I'll keep rambling. Until next time, see you later.